In this video, Timmy's going to show you how to check how much storage you'll have left on your Google account. With a free Google account, Google gives you 15 gigabytes of cloud storage that you can use across Google Drive, Gmail, Google Photos, and every other Google service you might use. And if you want to check how much storage you have left and what's taking up all that storage, in this video, Timmy's going to show you how it's done. There are actually a few different places where you can see how much storage you have left in your account, but the best way is to go to one.google.com, spelled out O-N-E, slash storage, and you'll be able to click a link in the description so you don't actually have to type that. And now you'll be taken to this dashboard here where it shows you basically everything there is to know about your Google account storage. So if we scroll down here, we can see on this account, Timmy's currently using 7.71 out of 15 gigabytes. So Timmy's allowed to use 15 gigabytes with a free account, and Timmy's currently using 7.7 .7 of those 15 gigabytes. So if you do the math, that means Timmy has about 7 gigabytes left. So Timmy doesn't really have to worry yet. Timmy has quite a bit of spare space. So if you just wanted to see how much account space you have left, you're basically done now. You now know how much you have. But if you scroll down here, you can also see how much space each individual thing is taking up. So if you're curious what's actually using that space, you can take a look here. As we can see here, we have Google Drive. So any file on Google Drive, all of those files are collectively taking up 5.37 gigabytes out of these seven gigabytes that Timmy's using. So Google Drive is actually taking up most of Timmy's storage here. But we also have Gmail taking up 0.22 of a gigabyte. So not very much, but all of those emails in Gmail are taking up some space. And then down here, we have Google Photos taking up another two gigabytes. So that's all of Timmy's photos on Google Photos taking up two gigabytes. And here we have Recorder, which is a voice recording app that you can have on a Google phone and record stuff and save it to the cloud. Most people probably have zero gigabytes here, but it seems to show up. And if you had anything else taking up a significant amount of space in your account, like maybe a device backup or something, you would might also see another category here showing you that that's using that. But you can just look through here and see all the different things and how much space they're taking up. So if you're curious about what's using all your space, now you know. And if you're running out of space in your Google account, you can actually scroll down here and click on free up account storage. And in here, it will give you some personalized suggestions for things you can do to free up some storage in your account if you need more storage. So if we scroll down here to clean up suggested items, we can see here it says files in trash 137 megabytes. So these are all the files in the trash folder in Google Drive because files in the trash folder do still take up space on your account. So Timmy doesn't have very many here, it's pretty small, but if you had quite a bit of stuff in the trash, you might wanna click review here, and then it'll show you all the photos that are in the trash, all the files that are in the trash, in fact, and you could select specific ones to delete, or click this box to select them all and click delete there. And you have to say you understand they'll be permanently deleted, but as long as you understand that and you understand you can't get the files back after you've done this, you can go ahead and click permanently delete and it will delete them to free up, free up 137 megabytes. So as we can see, we have 137 megabytes back. So now we can go back out of here and then you could move on to the next one. So we have emails in trash. So these are all the Gmail emails in the trash folder in Gmail. 
And we also have large files. So these are just files on Google Drive that are really large. So perhaps if you don't need a few of them, you could delete them and it would make a big difference. So you can just go through all these suggestions and hopefully free up quite a bit of space by clearing out some stuff like that. And just keep in mind, this number up here doesn't update immediately. You might wanna give it half an hour or so to really see any change. And if you've deleted a lot of files, you might even wanna wait several hours to give it time to calculate. It can be quite slow at times, but then you'll refresh the page and hopefully you'll see you're using a little bit less storage. So that can be good. And hopefully you can just free up space and then you can go on using your account like normal. But alternatively, if there's nothing you wanted to delete or you've deleted a few things, but it hasn't really made much impact, the other option would be to sign up for a paid account. You can actually get uh, an extra 100 gigabytes of storage for really cheap next to nothing. And that will give you a lot more storage space. When you're in this dashboard here, there will usually be a button here you can click to try and give you an offer to entice you to sign up. So you could click that and go and sign up to a larger plan like that if you really needed to. But that's all there is to this video. So hopefully you found it helpful. And if Google Photos is taking up a lot of your storage, you might want to consider compressing all of the photos in Google Photos to reduce the size of them without deleting anything. And Timmy shows you how to do that in this video here.